Hello, everyone. Welcome to your non-spoiler review for the movie Ma, starring Octavia Spencer. I'm Perry Nemroff. That's John Roca. Hello, everyone. I'm so pumped to yeah. be talking about this movie right now. So just in case you don't know what the movie is about, Octavia Spencer plays Ma. Her real name is Sue Ann. Yeah. And she didn't have the greatest high school experience. Mm -hmm. And when she comes into contact with a bunch of high school kids who are a little cooler, they want some booze. And she takes it upon herself to buy the booze for them. And then not even just stop there, but she invites them to come over and basically makes her basement the new party house for yeah. a whole bunch of high school students and things get crazy <laughs> they get crazy Roka, yeah. you hadn't seen a single bit of promotional material yeah. before going into this movie, so were you shocked or? Yeah, absolutely, I was shocked it? and pleasantly shocked as well because I really enjoyed so much about the humor and the horror. You know, we've talked, we've had some fun banter between us about my approach to horror, like, th and this is the kind of thing that works for me. It's. It's so scary in a real life scenario that you could actually see happening, possibly because people <laughs> carry a lot of trauma from high school years and how it manifests itself later in life is interesting to explore. It reads, I've read some uh, interesting articles over the years, but seeing this, especially if you watch To Catch a Predator or those kind of weird shows that have them, but like, this was fantastic because of of, the, of what uh, everyone was able to do acting wise and, and the story. The humor was in the right places, but never undercut the stakes of the horror of what was happening and the possibility of death that seemed to be just around the corner the whole time. And Octavia Spencer, absolutely amazing, carries this thing from beginning to end. I will agree on the Octavia Spencer point. I yeah. think I, I interpreted the other things a little differently. Mm. Yes, the, the theme of bullying is most certainly yeah. there. And I do think that the way that they handle it does make you think about the real life implications of mm. a situation like that. But... They take it to an extreme here, and it's mm -hmm. almost like, I guess I would call it appropriately cartoonish. It's not like silly, stupid, mm -hmm. but it's that kind of movie where you're sitting and you're watching every single thing Ma does, and you're going like, no, like, no, no, yeah. she's doing that. And because of that, I would highly recommend that everybody out there catch this in the theater. Yeah, definitely. I do have a good feeling this is one I'm going to have a lot of fun casually replaying at home. Mm -hmm. But you want to hear this reaction with a midnight crowd because mm -hmm. our screening was loud and we were part of that crowd oh, that yeah. was like verbally like shouting, cheering, gasping. There were so many moments that I'm like, what are we watching right now? But I love it. Yeah, and I couldn't believe the director is the same director that did the help. I'm like, that's that's fantastic. What, what an interesting change of pace. And the writer is a guy who worked on Workaholics for many years, a story editor on Workaholics. So he knew where to throw in this humor mm -hmm. at just the right, even in the middle of this horror stuff happening, there's an incredibly funny moment of humor. So you're never, you're never that far away from laughing and being scared at the same time. And I'm telling you, it's a tightrope they walked in this film, and I think they really kicked, uh, knocked it out of the park. It felt to me like a combo between um, The Visitor and Gross Point Blank, that kind of idea of what can happen in a quirky kind of 80s horror situation, and if you go back to school, what, you're, what, what how that can uh, uh, echo through and reverberate in your life as you go forward as a human being. If you did watch the trailers like I did, mm. I feel like Ma delivers big time. So yeah. The thing, I'm just busy thinking back about that first trailer and how much there was in it. There is mm. a lot in it, but the movie basically gives you exactly what that trailer is oh, really? selling. And okay. when, it, when it comes to the way that the story progresses, I wouldn't say there were so many twists and turns mm. where I'm like, I didn't really see that coming. Like, oh, I didn't think that you were going to make that stupid decision. No, it, it's a horror thriller. Right. I thought you were going to make those choices. But there's something about the way it's all wrapped up and the energy of it. And in particular, Octavia Spencer... Mm. She, I can't believe how good she is. I don't even know why I'm saying that when she's had so many accolades and so many wonderful performances to her name, but she looks like she is having a blast in this movie, mm -hmm. and I was eating it up from start to finish. I also want to highlight some of the ensemble mm -hmm. here, because yes, I think please. Juliette Lewis had a oh. scene or two where I'm like, damn, you're good too. Luke Evans, I think, has a nice part oh, yeah. in it. I think every single movie and TV show needs more Missy Pyle than what it gets, yes, so I would have liked agree. more of her in this, but <laughs> when it comes to the young ensemble here, and this is probably where my bigger criticisms come in, is when I look at the group and when I walked away from the movie, mm. I couldn't remember all of their names, and it bothered me. And oh, what bothered me okay. even more than not remembering their names was that I couldn't really tell you much of a defining you know, feature or interest other than... Mm. 
you know, uh, Di- Diana Silvers as Maggie. She is the lead of the group. And right. I can tell you, yeah, like Maggie's the new girl. She has a good relationship with her mother. Yeah. And I knew a little bit about her. But when it came to some of the others, I'm like, oh, you you are you're the jock one. Mm. Oh, you're you're the one who's like sassy and I'll say whatever she wants. Right. Haley. Yeah. I knew that. But for some. So it is bothering me that I don't know more about them. And I think mm. it took away some of the layers of the experience. But there is something about the chemistry of that group yeah. that did keep me invested in them and rooting for them. So I think it worked well enough, mm. but it could have gone a little further in that respect. I hear what you're saying. I had that feeling when I was looking at the foster kids and Shazam. I, there was not much background with them. They were basically presented to you as an already built unit and you had to just go along with it. And in this situation, the same thing. They were an already built friend unit. They just brought mm-hmm. on the new girl to be part of them and of course there was a romance that built there that was interesting but I thought you you had enough time with them so that when things started to happen at the end to them you uh, felt invested in what was going to happen I don't want to spoil anything but when you started to see what was happening you felt uh, that it was bonkers and you actually felt sympathy for them when it was happening you just made me think of this one side character that kept her I'm not going to spoil anything here but there there is one repetitive joke that happened and (laughs) it had it had me laughing out loud so so much i loved that part i can't yeah. wait for everybody else to see that roca yeah. tis tis time okay i like to give you the honor first do you want to take it or pass it back to me yeah Score. sure i'll take it i give it an eight uh, as, as as it goes along i i had no problems with any of the script no problems with any of the characters i loved how everything went along and i think you cast this strongly enough so that certain characters or certain actors when they pop up make the most of the limited amount of screen time that they have and that speaks volumes to the director and the production and all the actors involved so i give it an eight had a great time i'm right behind you i'm coming in with a 7.5 mm. out of 10 and that pretty much just just goes right back to what I was saying about the younger characters mm. and the lack of character development there. And also the fact that this is basically a movie that plays by very familiar horror thriller rules. And I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with that if you do it really well. And they do it really well yeah. here. It's just if you're looking for a little extra, something beyond the trailer that maybe you didn't see coming. I can't quite say it's there, but it is still a wild ride. It is an absolute blast that you should experience with a crowd. Agreed. There it is. That is our (laughs) non-spoiler review of the movie Ma. If and when you guys see it, you know what to do. Hit that comment section below. Tell us what you think of the movie yourself. Also, as always, do not forget, like and share this review. Tell everybody you know about Collider Video, and we will see you soon with more movie reviews.